Hey, welcome back. Am I the a-hole? These people want to know and you and I will be the judge, jury, and executioner. So let's check out the Reddit threads today. Am I the a-hole? Oh goodness, I see one already. Am I the a-hole for making my daughter leave because my husband is attracted to her? Okay, I'm just going to make a snap judgment without reading any of the story. I'm going to say you are the a-hole, but let's, let's find out. Am I the a-hole for making my daughter leave because my husband is attracted to her? I, 55 female, have been married to my husband and my daughter's stepdad, 63 male, for four years. My 23-year-old daughter and I have a complicated relationship. She has been diagnosed with disassociative identity disorder. She has a lot of trauma from watching me and my husband's horrible marriage go down and was bullied in school. When she told me she was being bullied by peers, my view that all children are innocents really tied my hands because I told her that if I said anything to them, I would be an adult harassing a child. <sighs> I already can't take it. Okay. <sighs> Cleansing breaths. Cleansing breaths. Okay. Okay. So let me just get myself together a little bit. I'm, I'm hot and I'm sweating. It's winter, but uh, the story is making me hot and sweating. Okay. Let's address the first issue. Um, so your daughter is being bullied in school and she comes to you as her mother for help. It would, this is what we tell children to do, right? If children are being bullied and they, they don't really know how to stand up for themselves or defend themselves or they just don't know what to do in such a situation, we always encourage them, go to your teachers, go to your parents. So she comes to you. And your response is, I'm sorry, I, all children are innocent. All children are innocent, so I can't say anything. Are all children innocent, though? Like, I get, I get, the, I get the blanket statement that all children are innocent. Like, I, I get it. I get the blanket statement. But <sighs> not all children are innocent. Like... The way you're saying it, you're making it sound like children can't make mistakes or children can't do anything wrong. Children are humans. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. We all do things wrong. We all need to be corrected. If you see a child making a mistake, you think you're not supposed to correct them because then you're, a, you're an adult harassing a child. So we can't guide children anymore. We can't teach them. We can't help them. So. When your daughter came to you being bullied, you couldn't um, teach her how to defend her own self. If you're not willing to step in and, and, you know, I get that there are also some parents that don't want to intervene on their kids' battles, but you didn't do anything. You didn't, you, you didn't teach her how to stand up for herself. You didn't stand up for her. You did nothing. You just said, oh, my hands are tied. Mm. You're the a-hole. Judgment has been ruled. All right, no, okay. <laughs> okay, let's finish the story. Okay, we won't judge yet. I, I, I'm already judging, but let's not judge yet. Okay, <sighs> let me breathe. She has blamed me, okay, <laughs> okay. She has blamed me for that ever since. Really, I, 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 <sighs> okay. And keeps referring to this one time where the kids at school called her trash due to the fact that she wasn't taking care of her hygiene due to depression. Part, not all, of my response was telling her to take a shower, and I bought her new clothes. The bullying finally ended with an expulsion and a suspension for the ringleaders. 
she still throws the fact that a school clinic volunteer told her that if she was their kid, she'd have permission to punch back if administrators didn't do anything. Thank you. So, okay, the school, why is it that the school administrator has to tell your daughter these things and you're not telling her? Yes, it is okay for your daughter to defend herself. And you should have encouraged that from the beginning. And if she is too, okay, I realize that there are people who won't defend themselves. There are some people that are just that frightened. They're that meek. They're that small. They're not going to defend themselves. You should have been there to do that for her. You should have done something. I'm sorry. So she don't let it go? I mean, I don't, I don't, okay. Okay. Let's just keep going. Okay. Oh, goodness. I'm stressing. I'm shaking. I thought that having her live with me while she finishes school and gets a job would help heal some childhood wounds if my second husband and I modeled a healthy relationship. However, my daughter now doesn't get along with my husband. She is, she is a very introverted, creative person who likes immersing herself in escapism. So she'd get annoyed if he was sitting eating alone. Oh, I'm sorry. If she. So she'd get annoyed if she was sitting eating alone and my husband would sit across from her and eat, saying she ate later so she could eat alone. Okay, let me see. So she's 23 and he's 63. Okay, okay. Um, if she likes eating alone, she likes eating alone, but I, given the title, I feel like there's more to it. Uh, I feel like she likes eating alone for a reason. I mean, she probably just likes eating alone, but she specifically doesn't want to eat with him for a reason. Let's keep going. Where am I? Okay. However, okay. So, oh, so, sh so she eats later so that she can eat alone. Okay. Following. However, my husband started acting distant from me and my daughter complained that his eyes lingered for too long. <sighs> she got very angry and there was a lot of shouting and slamming of doors. Finally, my husband admitted he's attracted to her and it's hard to be around her all day. Are you retired, sir? Why are you home all day? Okay. I mean, that's not in, that's not even the focus of the, of the matter, but I'm just, okay. <sighs> She's okay. <laughs> Finally, my husband admitted he's attracted to her and it's hard to be around her all day. Said she was walking, temp said she was walking temptation and said that's why he was avoiding sex with me. <clears throat> I'm, I'm stressing because of the title. Made my daughter leave. We already know how it ends. Ugh. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just try to get through this. This was supposed to be lighthearted fun. And it is oh so something else. All right. I was so upset to hear this. I don't blame my daughter for this, but at the same time, the situation has become unbearable. Something would have to give, and I couldn't collect my thoughts with both of them still being in the house. So I gave my daughter money to stay in an extended stay hotel and asked her to utilize her college's emergency financial and housing resources they have for students in need. She responded by storming out and telling my ex, who is now circling social media, using it to paint me as the villain of all villains. Okay, I'm not abandoning my daughter. She qualifies for those resources anyway, since my ex is unemployed and we are in substantial debt. I just need time to process the situation and don't want to leave my house to stay with my daughter when I have a marriage to figure out whether or not to save. Oh, <laughs> I read that weird. I didn't realize how long the sentence was going to be. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to save this marriage. Am I the a-hole? I don't even need to read other people's comments. You are the a-hole. Judgment has been ruled. 
You have failed your daughter on so many levels, and it seems like you have failed her throughout her entire life. Okay, first of all, okay, so you're 55, he's 63, your daughter's 23. So your daughter has all of these um, mental issues. You've mentioned that she has disassociative identity disorder. Um, I feel like you said something else, even though I don't. Okay, I guess in just trauma. So basically, dissociative identity disorder. All right, so she's probably traumatized. She's had a horrible childhood. She does a lot of uh, a lot of maladaptive daydreaming. Okay. <sighs> Meanwhile, so you weren't there for for her as a child. You you and your husband, your ex husband, her father, uh, had a volatile relationship. I, I'm guessing. Um, I, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't need more details. I don't know why I'm sitting here thinking all about this story of what else has happened. The point is you're the a-hole. You weren't there for her when she was being bullied. You didn't do anything to help her. You didn't stand up for her. You didn't teach her to stand up for herself. Now, look, this man is 63 years old. You're telling me, okay, your daughter's 23. You're telling me that your daughter, that this man finds your daughter so attractive that he just can't handle being around her. Oh, it's just too much to be around her. Like, oh my God, she it's so much. I, I might just throw her down and rape her. I might just force myself on her. Oh my God, I just, I can't control myself. Like, that's what he's saying. That's basically what he's saying. What man is like that? That's what I want to know. What regular, well-adjusted man is like that, that you want to stay married to, that you want to fix the relationship with? You have failed your daughter all along, and now your focus is, do I, I, I just need her out of here. I just need her out of my face so I can figure out what I'm going to do with this relationship. This man who tells me that, oh, he's just so attracted to my daughter, my almost underage daughter, that... Oh, he, he is, he's avoiding being with me. He's avoiding sex with me because he just can't get her out of his mind. So I'm going to get her out of here. Bye. Bye, daughter. Go be homeless. Go use your school financial homeless resources. I mean, you qualify. After all, me and your dad are freaking poor. We're broke. We just go, 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 go use your resources while I try to get this man to love me again. <sighs> I'm stressed. All right, you're the a-hole and you've been the a-hole all along. I'm stressed, let's read the comments. Let's see what other people have to say. <laughs> okay, I'm so, okay. You're the a-hole. Number one, I have a hard time believing that her, oh, DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, just came from seeing you and your ex fight. DID stems from repeated trauma before the ages of nine-ish. Number two, you're punishing your daughter for your husband being inappropriate. Kick him out of the house while you figure things out. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And there, first, secondly, there's nothing to figure out. He obviously don't, your husband, if your husband loved and cared about you, there is not any there is no woman, no matter how she looks, that's going to make him say the things that he said. Like, oh, I can't, I, I'm, I've been avoiding you because I'm just so attracted to your daughter. If it, like, are we, I, I can't, I can't. Okay, you're the a-hole. Kick the husband out who can't keep his eyes and his penis to himself. Thank you. I feel so bad for that young girl. You are a terrible mother. You failed to protect her before. Thank you. And you're doing it again. No wonder why she has issues. What should have happened is that you sent that D-bag husband of yours packing. If it's your house, assure your daughter that you'll protect her. Thank you. All right. We could go on and on, but I think we all, I think we all feel the same. And I feel like you should have known. When she was being bullied by peers, my view that all her innocence really tied my hands. I'm glad somebody's pointing this out. It seems you have a history of tied hands when it comes to standing up for your daughter. Do you even like her? You are absolutely the a-hole and you chose a pervert over your own child. Thank you. All right. 
I don't know how long this uh, video has been. I, I had planned to do a couple of readings, but I think this was enough for today. You are the a-hole of the day. You are the a-hole of the week. You are the a-hole of the year. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.